television. What happened to my son? It was an accident, Jonathan. Uh, uh, Joshua... Joshua had, had, had called me to talk and... Something happened before I got there and he fell. He fell where? Why, why didn't he come here to talk? Well, Joshua was preaching downtown. He wanted me to meet him there. May I have some water, please? Yes. I'll, no, I'll go. What happened? Well, he, uh... This is my husband, uh... Ben, this is Joshua's father. What happened? He committed... He committed suicide. Come on in. I'm sorry. to start on the, on the funeral service. Oh, I have some uh, television sermons of Joshua's if you'd like to see them. No. No, no, I am... Uh, the, uh, the less we, uh, we remind the public about that, of uh, that part of his life, the better, I think. Well, Joshua had a, a fine television program. I would have been proud of him. I was proud of him until he came here. What did you do to my son? I tried to make a home for him. God, protect me. I could kill you. Don't you dare to touch her. What do you do? Don't you dare talk to her that way. You are the one who raised him. Val, Val, please what? leave us alone. I, I tried to make him feel worthwhile, loved. You taught him to seek after fame and glory, and it killed him. Body and soul, he's damned. Don't you dare judge him. God in heaven judges him, woman. Even you must know that there is only one unforgivable sin. My son did not kill himself. Your son? Where were you when your son was growing up? You chose the profane. to mold him in God's image. In God's image? Oh, you, you mean in your image, Jonathan? I mean, look here. Oh, it's, it's Jonathan Rush's son. Oh, isn't he a nice boy? He's a perfect boy. Oh, he certainly does reflect well on his father. Well, Joshua's living proof that the Reverend Jonathan Rush must be a fine man. You waved him like some kind of trophy in front of your congregation. He told you that?
It was all I had. I did the best I knew.